Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Icon Sky into Small Game Builder. The, the sky background something like this. So at the beginning I'm in Icon. I will just to apply some sky. Click here, template sky. Then now I have a lot of skies here. Let's say if I want this sky a clear day. This is the clear day sky, desert sky. For example, if I want to apply the desert sky and export it out to Small Game Builder, the first thing what we need to do is click the scene, click sky, click here to see the texture. As demo, I will just save this texture. Click save. As demo, I will save on my desktop. This is demo desert sky 01. As demo, I put this as a file name save. So now, this is a PNG file. The whole picture already saved. Here, this is a HDRI image, 360 degree. In Icon, actually, the whole sky is just a sphere, a UV sphere. To let you see, this is the whole sky, and your 3D animation actually is doing it here, and it become a background of your 3D animation at center. So now once you already exported out the PNG, the picture, the picture of the icon sky, the next, you go to the bottom of my video description to download this FBX file, the sphere.fbx. I already put the download link there, you download it first. Then the next, The next, you open a 3D Exchange 7, drag in the sphere.fbx, drag in, click OK. Now you can see this is a sphere that I already created for you. What you need to do is to drag in the texture here. Now this sphere already have a texture. The next step, what you must do is you double click, okay, you press Q, double click this sphere, then you drag here down to the bottom. You should be able to see the texture here. Now, the next, rename, rename the texture, make sure you must rename it. This is the texture name, F2. Control C, I copy, then at here, I paste here, enter. Now the texture image name already, name it properly. The next step we are going to export to Small Game Builder. So in the icon 3D Exchange, you click export FBX. Then the file name of the FBX put the same as the texture name. And then here, choose Maya. Make sure you tick this. Okay, for the sky, I can just check this. 2048, this one we put 2048. If you, you put a high high number, it become a big texture then it may cause your computer to lag. So as demo I will just put 2048. Here take it to convert the image to PNG embedded. This one you make sure you take it. So as demo I will just export on my desktop. So I will browse my desktop. Click OK. 
Next, I click OK. It will export as a FBX file on my desktop. Now, I can go to the Small Game Builder. Next, I want to import this. The Demo Desert Sky. I can just click Add Assets. The sky is under map. Go and click the sky boxes. Next, click add and select desktop. The file already here. Make sure here you choose one. I already set for you, you must set one. And here, tick already. Next, I can click add. So you can see I set demo. Demo Desert Sky 01 is added. Now I can click OK. Check the sky box. Where is it? Demo. Demo Desert Sky 01. So it is here already. Then I can close this. So it's back to the small game builder and just wait for a while. This is one of my maps as demo. So now I can check this. This map I already put a sky there. Now I want to change the, the background sky. I can just right, right click my map, then map setting. The sky box, I can go to find my demo sky 001, this one. Then I click OK. Click OK. Now you, you can see this sky already changed. I try to play test and let you see the game effect here. Especially the first person view. So you all can see my game now already have that icon sky. It can be used anytime in your small game builder. So this is the whole process. How can we export the icon sky and then import into small game builder? In the small game builder map, it become the map sky, it become the game background, and that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are helpful to you and looking for more, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video.